All right, time to bring in Haley Wooden from Business in Vancouver. Good morning, Haley. How are you? Good morning, Steve. I'm well, thanks. Awesome. A couple of great stories to talk about. Uh, we'll begin with the GDP numbers are out. That's right. Real GDP numbers are out this morning, and they're a little bit better than expected. Real GDP grew 0.5% in July on a monthly basis. Economists at RBC, they've been predicting a 0.3% increase so a little bit more positive and this is of course being driven by increased output in the mining oil and gas sector overall that grew 3.9 percent in july as we see a, a bit of a return to normal output levels after the impact that the fort McMurray wildfires had as well as scheduled maintenance shutdowns now within that unconventional oil output actually grew 19 percent so really leading the way Petroleum and coal, coal up 8%, again, also impacted by the Fort McMurray wildfires, and that was around supply issues. So a bit of a correction and return to normalcy, which is what everyone, I think, was hoping to see. Now, when we look at real estate, a very hot topic, certainly output there was up just a little bit, 0.2%. Now, this sector includes rental and leasing output as well. But when we look at what our individual realtors and brokers were doing, they actually saw a decline of 1%. And this is a decline for the third consecutive month. This is around supply. Now, we do need to keep in mind these are national numbers and certainly not a reflection of what we've seen here in Vancouver alone. Construction overall down 0.8%. Residential building down. Commercial building was relatively unchanged for July. Overall, I think a little bit favorable, more favorable than what analysts had been predicting mm -hmm. and perhaps signaling to a return to a bit of a more normal and upbeat economy. All right, let's talk about Hootsuite as well. They're obviously known for their dashboard application, but they may be going in a different direction soon. They might be. They have a new client, and they're in the wealth management industry. This is Canaccord Genuity Wealth Management. They're a Vancouver-based firm. They offer a full suite of different financial services. They say they're going to be using Hootsuite's platform to allow their financial advisors to better connect with investors as well as customers. Now, as you can imagine, it's not just any platform that can meet this need. There's a whole suite of regulatory demands that need to be met, and Hootsuite actually offers offers services that are completely compliant with any industry regulations. Now, Hootsuite has worked with others in the financial space, but this does seem like a bit of a first in terms of connecting advisors and really allowing more immediate and back and forth communication between their clients. All right, we'll see how it works. Okay, Haley, thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. All right, more details from Haley, go to BIV.com.